Hey group, Robert Lee here again of superfoodaddicts.com. This is food fight number three. This, this is a fun one, should be. I've got a pile of products before me. We're going to dig into them right now. Hope you find this interesting. All right, who's the smart ass? Hey. pack of, or wrapper to a pack of mini donuts, the six mini donuts I used to have with my coffee. Uh, this was never, this was never a breakfast item. Sadly, it was a pre-breakfast item. It went with two cups of coffee. I wrote a post on superfoodaddicts.com, 42 day, why I went through, or gave up coffee for 42 days and it was partially because of the six-pack that came along with them as well as the super toxic coffee creamer, non-dairy coffee creamer and the spoonfuls of sugar that went into it. FYI, this alone, the little six-pack of donuts, and somehow they've got one gram of fiber and three grams of protein, that's, that's amazing but they clock in at 370 calories and 24 grams of sugar. Now this was on top of what I was doing with two cups of coffee which was one heaping teaspoon of sugar each and I'm not talking the measurement teaspoon I'm talking kitchen spoons so it's hard to say but I'll guarantee it was between the two at least 10 grams of sugar <clears throat> And the non-dairy creamer is just super toxic. So, hey, glad you had fun throwing that in there. You're not done. Okay. I don't recall the name of this cereal. Let me see. We have 10 grams of sugar. 10 grams of sugar. Somehow, again, they're getting three grams of fiber and two grams of protein into this. I'm not sure how, because I can't read the ingredients list. Does have hydrogenated oil. So between the sugar and the hydrogenated oil, and God forbid all these chemical dyes that are involved, make it just... A deadly, a deadly choice. It's not even on the board. It wasn't even supposed to be here. Do you remember when cereals used to have a prize inside? Well, this one could do that. It really could because and, and make it a magnifying glass because this is the ingredients list. Can you read that? Neither can I. Okay, now that we've gotten rid of the clown input, we're getting to the actual stuff we're supposed to get to. Nature's Path All Organic Almond Nut Butter Crunch. Sounds good, doesn't it? You can read the ingredients list without a magnifying glass. That's impressive. Okay. This one clocks in at 10 grams of sugar compared with 8 grams of protein and 3 grams of fiber. We've talked about the ratio of protein and fiber against sugars. This one's 11 to 10. That just doesn't even come close to what we need. They're close. If they could cut the sugar in half, they might have a chance at being in the running. <clears throat> Next, Toasty O's. Basically, Cheerios, you know, a different version of them. They're pretty much all the same. They clock in with 20 carbohydrates, that's a tad high, 3 grams of fiber, 3 grams of protein, and they claim zero sugar. Now I'm not sure how they do that. 
but there's one major backdraw to this. It's not a whole grain. So it just goes through your system kind of like a candy. It, it's, it's just not, again, a viable option. Do they taste good? Yeah, sure. Especially if you add sugar. But it is not a true viable option for us. Again, we need whole grains, not your flour substitutes, not your corn starch substitutes, not your corn flour substitutes. We need actual whole grain. Okay. Enter toasted wheat folds. Basically a variation of shredded wheat. Again, you know, it's not a name brand. This oh, actually it is a name brand, but now this one is interesting. It has six grams of protein, seven grams of dietary fiber, zero sugars, very, very few ingredients. In fact, only two ingredients. This is actually a pretty good consideration, a pretty good option. It is not heavy in sugar. It is very fibrous. I actually keep a, not this particular brand, but just a store brand. I keep handy some of the shredded wheat biscuits as a snack. I take them along <clears throat> And they are a viable snack. You've got to be careful. They're quite dry. Make sure you've got water or some liquid handy where you could choke to death. But this is a food fight. And we have a winner. And that winner is, I don't have a picture of it, but it is old-fashioned oats or steel-cut oats. Again, not your little packet flavored oats that are completely worthless. Not your quick oats that are, again, they're just over-processed. But we're talking old-fashioned oats or, again, the steel cut. Steel cut takes quite a bit of cooking time. The old-fashioned oats you can do as an overnight version. You can do as a lightly heated version. But... They're very impressive. For one gram of sugar, you get five grams of protein and four grams of fiber. That's a nine to one ratio for our consideration of fiber and protein versus sugar. Very, very good option. They are also gluten free unless the crop was grown real close to a wheat field and wind currents carried over some of the gluten. They are also great for diabetics. I've heard a lot of people, oh, I can't eat oats. They, they spike my sugar. Probably not. It, it, you might be using the wrong type of oats. And again, if you're a uh, superfood addict or a diabetes destroyer in particular, and you're keeping track of the foods, the servings, the colors, etc., oats bring you so much options. You, you can have the oats itself, and I myself use cinnamon in them. No sugar, no honey, no sweeteners. Oats have a great taste, believe it or not. Many foods do. But, and once again, it comes down to the shellacking of your tongue with salt, sugar, and fat. But oats have a great taste, and with them, you can have oats, a spice of your choice, nutmeg, whatever you want. You can also add your flaxseed or almonds or walnuts to get your serving of nuts and seeds. And you can throw in blueberries. This can become a super, super powerful breakfast. It's something to consider, something to look into. It is a powerhouse breakfast. It's what I did prior to creating the superpower drinks, which I'll get into later. But you can get so many superfoods from just a serving of oats. Again, mixing in the nuts, 
the nuts, the spice, blueberries. You can get like four or five superfoods all in one package. It's a great option. Please look into it. Um, I have to go deal with a comedian that thought it'd be funny to throw in some things, some wrenches in the works. It's all in fun. It works out great. Good to talk to you. Um, we still have some fantastic food fights coming. Believe it or not, we have veggie, a vegetable food fight coming that I think you will really see is eye-opening. Some options are far better than others, but they're, for the most part, all good. We will talk to you again soon. Sorry about the extended length of this. I was thrown off course a little bit in the beginning, but we'll work it out. It's great. Talk to you later.